Shabbat Shalom. So good to see familiar faces, new faces. Thank you. Welcome to our Open Sky Amphitheater. Who's here for the first time? All right, welcome. <laughs> Terrific. It's the hour shy of sundown. Prayers riding through the sky. Six days on the road. Barely gone. Kiddish wine brimming over, father rising on the stove. But it's the Shabbos light in your eyes that keeps me warm. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Watch the words. Here we go. Sometimes bed ever green feels like a long lost friend. Yeah, hey, it's good to be back home again. Try that again. Hey, it's good. He said, hey, it's good to be back home again. Sometimes bed ever green feels like a long lost Yeah, this is how we do, a, instead of doing applause, we're doing sign language, sort of celebrating. And um, thank you all for joining us. Laura Berman here joining me in our newly reconstituted, after a hiatus because of COVID, CB Singers coming together. We're so thrilled. We're so, and you too can be a part of the CB Singers for the very low price of a couple of having to do rehearsals with me. <laughs> Uh, you got some time near the water this summer. 
sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Kindling a little sunshine when we light Shabbat candles in the evening, keeping the sunshine in our eyes. Let's 
candles there's a tradition of greeting angels welcoming angels and having them bless us and then in the fourth stanza we have to tell them to go and send their blessings elsewhere and i don't think they have to use jet fuel but it's like they're leaving on a jet plane shalom aleichem malachi asharit shalom aleichem malachi helion Mimelech Malchay Amlachim Akadosh Baruchu. Femle Shalom Malachay Shalom. So Shalom Malachay Yon. Mimelech Malchay Amlachim Akadosh Baruchu. Shalom, Shalom, Take into wing. Next Shabbos, you'll be back again. I know you have to go. You're leaving. Take into wing. Thank you for bringing Shabbos in. We know. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Let's hear just them. Ready? There it is. Again. Everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. That song was just for you guys. <laughs> so uh, this is my iconic plastic song. And John Denver's Lachadodi. To sail on a dream on a crystal clear ocean, to ride on the crest of a wild raging storm, to work in the service of life and of living, in search of the answers to questions unknown. Wonders you've shown us the stories you tell. I cannot I sing with your spirit. We're all here to welcome you. Come cast your spell. Right up. 
the Sabbath, loving the weather's your wildness to say. Adonai,
it's good to be back home again. Give me my toe. in our minion, our community this evening. We, uh, you can be seated. He's, gonna, he's not going to like this, but I'm going to embarrass. We have a special guest here tonight. Um, uh, pastor Richard is uh, two months in town uh, and is a new pastor of Presbyterian Church of the Hills in Evergreen. I met him this week and dragged him into our choir. <laughs> I've come to learn, I think that's probably the best word, I've come to learn that uh, sadness, truly feeling the grief that we experience, um, the challenges in our world, is not the enemy of joy. Indeed, it grows joy in the end. Oh, heaven, more 
Six words of refuge can ease the burden, wrestling to understand why. Open the hand, ear, and heart to listen, wings getting ready to fly.
John Denver changed the words a little bit, but it works. <laughs> One of John Denver's uh, maybe most famous songs was actually written by his friends. Almost heaven, taste of freedom, sacred mountain, far from Pharaoh's river. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country road, take me home. Country road, take me home, take me home to the place, to the place. I love me, Shamoka, me, Shamoka, Mama, 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 Mama. Take me home, Country road. All my memories gather around her, modest lady. on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrops in my eye, country road, take me home to the place I belong, be Kamoka, mountain mama, take me home. the way to go home me Shamoka God Israel take me home country home I hear her voice from the wilderness she calls me crossing seas reminds me of my home far away searching for the road I get a feel should have been home yesterday, yesterday.
having fun yet? Yeah? Excellent. Sound great. Okay. I tried to get some of the singers to do some of these verses, but so maybe you guys can help me with them. I went on vacation to Michigan and uh, the neighbors next door were having a party and playing Mount uh, Rocky Mountain High. It's like, you're in the wrong state. <laughs> Born in the summer of his 75th year, coming home to a place he'd never been before. He left yesterday behind him, you might say he was born again, might say he found the key to every door. When he first came to the mountains, his life was far away, on the road made by his song. Sarah's love was holding fast, and soon there be a son. Life changes fast, all the stars that pass along. You didn't know this was a song about Abraham, did you? <laughs> On the Colorado Rocky Mountain High, I see the rain fire in the sky. Shadow from the starlight is off the middle. Saw silver clouds below, saw everything as far as you can see. And they say that he got crazy once, almost sacrificed a son. And he lost a friend but kept the memory. Now he walks in quiet solitude, the forests and the streams, seeking grace in every step he takes. And his side is turned inside himself as he tries to understand the serenity of the clear blue mountain lakes. On the Colorado Rocky Mountain High, I see the rain fire in the sky. His life is full of wonder, but his heart still knows some pain. Of the simple things he cannot comprehend. The stars that can't be counted, they can guide us through the dark. Future children lighting the way to promised land.
silent prayer. Talk to God and listen with a casual time. We invoke the spirit of healing in ourselves and those who ail. I'd like to invoke the name of someone to pray for. To offer the list of names of those we're aware of who are who would welcome our prayers for healing. May the one who blessed our ancestors. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Les, Leah, grant blessing <coughs> and healing. To Charlie Ellis, Lori Feldstein, Don Kleban, Tammy Kleban, Joan Seiler, Kathy Kaiser, Nate Feinberg, David Desch, Howard Weinberg, Charlotte Weissman, Jane Weinfeld, Judy Sherman, Robin Chalker, Schneider, Nancy Friedman, Marty Diesenhoff, Steve Bernstein, Leslie Maines, Adam Brass, Susan Levin, Lawrence Fox, Franz Salzman, Yuta Benjamin, Angela Fitzgerald, Edward Cohen, Adam Jordan. Their names on the chat. On Zoom, hello Zoom friends. Other names too quick? Brooks? No, but I just wrote down like John Wise. Jane Stroll. Erwin Stroll. Erwin Stroll. May those we've named, uh, those we hold in our hearts, and, and the many, the too many that we don't know to name, be granted a refua shlema, healing of body, healing of spirit, and may their community, their loved ones and caregivers, be granted strength, perseverance as they provide. Uh, and may we have a collective healing in our world, a healing that brings us closer to one another, more in tune with the Colorado Mount, Rocky Mountain High and the natural world, and may we draw our inspiration for harmony from it. And let us say, Amen. Shema Yisrael. So maybe one of the most famous phrases from the Torah. Um, we use it in our daily prayers, and in this portion, last week's Torah portion, as well, uh, it recurs, not just in the phrase that we used in saying this evening, Hear, O Israel, Adonai, our God, Adonai is one, but uh, listen, just please listen, Israel. Today, in this passage in, in, in chapter 9 in Deuteronomy, um, Moses says, today listen. As you cross the Jordan, as you descend into Yardain, the Hebrew word for Jordan, Yardain means to descend into judgment. Yar, Yared, Bedin, go down into judgment. Lavo, and to go in and inherit the land. In order in order to go into the land of Israel, the promised land, this height, right? We have to descend into the Jordan Valley, into judgment, moving down into judgment and out. 
We are on the heels in the Jewish calendar of Tisha B'Av, the ninth of Av, the saddest uh, grieving, national collective grieving day of the Jewish calendar, a full day of fasting, except on the other full day of fasting, Yom Kippur is a joyous day. It's the Sabbaths of Sabbaths. But this is not a joyous day. It's a, a, do, a day to confront our, our demons, our shadows, our culpability in our misfortunes, individually and collectively. Moving out of that Yarden, we, are, we have a seven-week cycle um, of consolation in the Haftarah portions in, the, in these Shabbatot, of lifting ourselves out of that Yarden. But I, I want to assert that in order to get out of the Yarden, you have to go in it. And then how do we get out of it once we're in it? So Moses is sharing that, uh, that we should say as we're entering the promised land, when we enter this land that we should say, it's not betzid kati, betzid kato, by my own virtue that I made it out of the Yarden, out of the, the Valley of Judgment, um, but by the grace. Um, and you can call it by the grace of God, by, uh, by forces beyond me. And this is the only way to get out of the Yarden, to release from ourselves a sense of uh, pride in the accomplishments, the achievements, the heights, the altitude that we've reached, right? Making this beautiful, not because of my merit, not because of my justice, my sedek, but because. And remember that you tested God and I intervened on your behalf. Now Moses is maybe selling himself a little higher than he did. He's remembering with rose-colored glasses his own role in this circumstance. Um, um, but that his invitation is that um, we can't do it alone. I helped you, you helped me. And I invite us to turn as we're coming out of the Yarden of Tisha B'Av, of coming out of a Yarden of, of the uh, seclusion of COVID-19, coming back into community, that we make an effort to reach out to one another, to receive help, that's probably the hardest, and to offer support and know that we're all on this journey home out of the Yarden. Uh, this year, um, this, this past year, my, my mother-in-law, a dear friend and my roommate, uh, passed away. And uh, she many times told the story of watching, going to John Denver at Red Rocks uh, and waking up in the morning and hearing about his death, death uh, that he was killed the night after the concert that she witnessed. And at that concert here in Red Rocks, he sang this song, this next song, and uh, to her and others, it felt like a monition. Um, Aleinu, the prayer that I've set this song to, is a prayer that was composed for the high holiday services for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and then particularly in Yom Kippur, where it becomes a rehearsal of dying, of death, the practice of uh, putting ourselves in, in a space where we uh, experience our own death and allow that to lift and to inspire our living. <laughs> so if you'd like to rise, you're, you're welcome to rise for this will be a form of Aleinu. Um, you can also wait till I get to the Hebrew. If you want.
Seated. Um, don't worry, we'll end with a happy song, I promise. <laughs> um, the, uh, but first, we, we have this obligation to recite Kaddish, the, the prayer for mourners, to greet those in mourning. Has anyone um, had a very recent loss? We say to you, Stacey and Ken, Hamakom Yenachem et Ken, Betok Shah Abalitzion Yushalayim. May you find comfort among your peers, your friends here and in Jerusalem. And we say together, Amen. Um, we also extend condolences to the families who have had other recent losses um, Leonard Estrin, Donna Aguero, Elaine Siegel, Takao Nagai, Mabel Alfonso, Nestor Aguero, Lila Grab. Arnold Sheldon, Isaac Fox, Janet and Ronald Lehman, Bob Davis, and the yard site that we're aware of from Beth Evergreen are Melvin Sturm, Madeline Adenoff, Patricia Ann Logan, Eleanor Rich, Elaine Leventhal, Leah Warner, Desmond Cartwright, first yard site, Shirley Franklin, Davy Weiss, 
Selma Nevins. Other names to mention for Cottage? Dr. Berman? Dr. Irving Fishman? Irving Fishman.
It's so good to be with you. Goodbye again. Echoes of your voice help me try again. Lifting up your name, lifting up your name to let you know I love you so. Elizabeth, you want to do announcements? <laughs> <laughs> or Luke? Luke. Yeah, Luke. Hello. 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 I know this. Hey, yeah. I mean, I can't be tomorrow. Leave <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Um, it's getting dark, so I'll be quick. Um, Thank you to our singers. So Rabbi Jamie, Laura Berman, and also our CBE singers. Uh, so we just re-ignited um, our CBE seniors after a hiatus through COVID. So if you are interested in singing and doing some of this, um, talk to one of these people up here. Uh, so we have a few things happening this weekend. Um, tomorrow, we actually have a bat mitzvah and it is of our very own Elizabeth. <laughs> For those who don't know, Elizabeth is our office manager here. Um, she just had her seventh year anniversary as our office manager. So, um, and it's her birthday tomorrow. So a lot of things to celebrate. Um, on Sunday, we will be doing our religious school kickoff. Uh, so if you have some young ones and you wanna join us, there's still some space. We're going to the Wolf Rec Center here in Evergreen and gonna bounce around in the gymnastics room and learn a little bit about what happens in terms of building a learning community. Uh, here at CBE. So, um, and registration for anyone online or, or here, the young family that's here. Um, registration is open. Feel free to talk to me if you have questions. Uh, and then September 2nd will be our next Kabbalah Shabbat, our next Friday evening Shabbat service. Um, maybe in the amphitheater, <laughs> if the light permits. Um, and then after that is this little thing called the high holidays are, are coming up, uh, starting on September 25th. And I have out front, there's a flyer with all our services that we do. Um, so please take one home with you and get that on your calendar. And we hope you'll join us for those. Uh, is, is there anything else, Rabbi? I think that's pretty good. Okay, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you all. Um, Immediately following services, we do have some uh, sweets and things like that. We, so I'll do the blessing for wine and we can come in. And especially if you're new here, first time, we'd love to get to know you. And uh, so please do hang around and, and, uh, and, and connect. Um, all right, uh, let's see if I can read this. In these words. These are a lot of words. Okay, but we need. Uh, help me. Who knows what a Shabbos boy is? Okay. Well, life in the state of time, laid back, ain't much an old Shabbos boy that you can act. Early to rise, early in the sack. Thank God I'm a Shabbos boy. Kind of like people that did me no harm. Took a switch for the Jewish beats working on the farm. Days are filled with an easy country charm. Thank God I'm a Shabbos boy. Well, got me in my mind, got me old riddle. You know, Shabbos got cakes on the riddle. Life ain't nothing but a fun, fun riddle. Thank God I'm Shabbos going. Oh, no. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, work's all done. So I said, Lord, while well, I'm a fiddle and a rising up the bow. The rabbi says, No, so I keep counting, Lord. Thank God I'm Shabbos going. Place had a good and all day, if good, but the Lord and my wife wouldn't take it very good. Fiddle when I can and I work when I should. Thank God I'm a Shabbos going. Well, it got me a fine wine, got me old fiddle. Even on Shabbos got cakes on the riddle. Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. Thank God I'm a Shabbos going. Right, two more verses. Two more verses. You're almost done. Here we go. Ready? Follow, follow Laura. Ready? All right, everyone. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, it wouldn't take a lot for a dime, no truth. There never was one of them money hungry fools. Rather play the fiddle, be the one to break the rules. Thank God I'm a shop is going. Want to use your car, but you can't be seen. I can be a driver, and I think it's mighty keen. Son, let me show you just exactly what I mean. Thank God I'm a shop is going. And thank you to Pat and Ellen and Cindy and Alan and Pastor Richard, uh, again, to name them, and of course, Laura and Tara Salzman, who uh, both. Uh, Delighted us with your vocals. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom.